Hi everybody, it's me your old friend Dale Howard. Today I want to show you an interesting trick that you can use in your projects if you have the following scenario. You've assigned a resource to a bunch of tasks in the schedule using an assignments value of your choice and then later you discover the resource you've assigned is not as available to your project as you thought and now you have to change the unit's value on every task that resource is assigned to. So let me show you my schedule. Here's a project that's ready to go live next week. I've done all of my task, resource, and assignment planning. The schedule is completely finished, ready to go live. One of the resources I've assigned to this project is named Allie Heck. I've assigned Allie to work full-time or 100% units on each of the tasks that she will be working on. Now the reason I assigned her to work full-time is because her resource manager promised me that Allie would be able to work full-time. So in the resource sheet view, her max units value is set to be 100%, meaning she can work up to full-time or 100% units on any task. I just found out the bad news right before we're ready to go live that Allie Heck is being pulled off my project half-time to go work on another higher priority project. So now I only get Allie Heck half time. So I'm going to change her max units value to 50%. And now look, she's over allocated because she is assigned at a bunch of tasks at 100% units. So is there any easy way that I can change the units value for Allie Heck without going to a whole lot of work? Ladies and gentlemen, the answer is yes. It's way easier than you might surmise. So here's the trick. You go to the resource usage view. In the resource usage view, you'll see Allie Heck's name, all of the tasks she's assigned to, the work hours on each task. I'm going to use the add new column virtual column to add a column called assignment units assignment units this is the column that tells you the units value that she's already assigned on each task I'm also going to temporarily add the column max units as well so we can see what the new max units value should be there it is 50 percent but look She's available, uh, currently assigned 100% on all of these tasks. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's the way to make easy work out of this. On the first task, I'll change Allie's units value or assignment units value to 50%. And then I'll use the fill handle in Microsoft Project, just like in Excel. I'm going to copy the 50% down all the way to the end. Bingo. Now, look, the overallocation has gone away. The only negative consequence is in Microsoft Project, because all of my tasks are fixed units tasks, Microsoft Project is going to recalculate the duration of everything that Allie's working on. Her work amounts are going to stay the same. No change there. So if I go to the Gantt chart view, what I'll be able to see is the schedule has changed. The schedule slipped out quite a bit, several months, but that made easy work out of what would have been an otherwise very painful and arduous process. Folks, there's another tip for you. Hope that helps. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you the next time.